if you play D&D or other TTRPGs, you probably take a lot of notes, either as a player or as a GM. And I find Obsidian to be a really good tool to basically organize your notes and to store them and search them digitally. But you may not know exactly how to organize things, right, and how to find things again. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video. So just to start things off, we're going to go ahead and switch over to Obsidian, which you can see here. So this is my Obsidian Vault. Uh, this is just the graph view, which shows the breadth of the notes. I don't really use it for much else except to show people like, hey, there's a lot of notes in here. Uh, here's what they look like all together. Not much there. But if you open a new tab or if you just open Obsidian for the first time, you'll see some options here. So the first options are going to be to create a new note or go to a file if you have one. So this is how you search around for your files. If you just go to control O, you can kind of search through the various files you have and just find them very quickly, which I find to be very useful. But we'll talk about that maybe in another video about how to search through and some interesting plugins for that. But if I want to create a new note for a session, let's go ahead and do that. Um, so we can start here by going to either click on this or we can hit control N to create a new note. And you'll see it's highlighted at the top because it needs a title, right? So that's why it's highlighted there. Um, or also just give it the untitled name. You can see there's a couple of untitled files ready there, hence the untitled one. But so let's see, what do we want to call this? Let's say that this is a generic session note one. Okay, so we'll give it that name. So now it has that name and then I can hit enter and you'll see it's shifted that name to that. So the way I organize notes in here, so uh, I use tags to basically group things together and that's a system that you can use instead of like using folders and the like or in addition to folders and tags basically make the notes more searchable and it'll be uh, useful for a key feature which I will talk about in a second. But let's say we just want to call this session notes. Okay. And you can see my little plugin popped up here it just says I created a new note here and then I updated it. So don't worry about that. That's just a plugin that I enabled because I like kind of seeing when I change things and when a note was created. What you see now it went purple in my particular uh, version here uh, and you can see that there's now hashtag session notes has been added to the file so now if I were to click that you know you can see basically every note that has that particular tag in it so that's where it becomes valuable to use and so uh, you can give it tags you can give it multiple tags so it's like you can stick one note in multiple folders so if you want to call the session notes and it involved a particular NPC tag, right? Like so you can put like the name of an NPC, that kind of thing. So now it's in that folder as well. So you know that you can click on this and find all the notes associated like with that particular tag that involves that particular group of things. So we can give a note lots of tags. So uh, and just to kind of show you really briefly. So tags are useful if you for just again, categorizing your notes and then finding them later and in, in a very kind of interesting thing that they added recently. So uh, if you want to add headings to your notes, first off, uh, I'll just talk about this briefly about setting it up. You can just hit the pound sign and then hit space and then you, and that'll give you like heading one. If I hit pound twice, it gives heading two and mine are colored for uh, some CSS thing that I did with in a long time ago, but you can do this through various themes you can install in Obsidian. But you can see heading three, the more pound symbols we add in subsequent uh, additions to one another, then you get different heading sizes. And then you can type dash in space to add bullets. So this is probably going to be the meat and potatoes, right? About uh, how, how you basically enter notes in Obsidian. So anyway, this is our note and what it looks like. So now if you want, let's say, let's give, let's make another note. That's also, let's say a generic session note two. So we'll do that. So I hit control N and we'll call this generic session note two. Okay. So now it has that title. And then again, we're going to, since this is a session note tag, we're going to give it hashtag session notes. You can see I have a lot of other tags here, right? So now if I click on this, You'll see that now I have two notes associated with this particular tag, and you can see other tags too. Um, so now we have these two notes. So once you get a lot of notes in your vault, right, uh, your Obsidian vault, you're going to have to find them again. 
And so one of the ways you can do that is by using their databasing tools called Obsidian Bases. So this is a core plugin that they have that should be operational as soon as you use Obsidian. Um, and the way you can do it is you can create a base as, as what it's called. Um, and the way you do that, so for me, I open my com command palette, uh, which you can do uh, uh, based on a hotkey. And so I have my hotkey set to control P, right? So now it opens all the various little kind of functions that are associated with Obsidian and other plugins I have, but I'm going to just type in base and you'll see create new base. So if we click on that, we have a new base created. And so basically this is listing all of our notes that we have here, right, um, in our vault. So we can see, we can search them, we can filter them by different properties they have and the like. And um, you can see here that uh, one of the ways that we can kind of filter things down um, is by tags, right? So we're going to find all the notes that have a specific tag, right? Or a specific, um, uh, and you can see like different properties associated with those notes. So in this case, if you click on filter, right? And you, let's go to all views and we'll say uh, all the following are true. So the file has tag, and then we'll say session notes. Um, and you can see how powerful this can possibly be. So now we can see our session notes here and then you could add different properties that you want to see with it. So like when the file was created, right? Um, if there are any links the file has, when it was modified, those kinds of things. Um, you can add like, you can see what uh, its file links, if it's linked to a particular files and the like. So, um, so you can add different categories for things and you can click on these notes to get back to them. So that's one way you can basically sort through there if you didn't want to use a sidebar. And you can basically sort by pretty much anything here. So if you have a lot of tags, you can kind of narrow things down so you can get a bird's eye view of kind of everything you have for that particular tag. Uh, what I wanted to mention too while we're talking about tags and, and other ways. So we can link notes together by other means. So if I type in double bracket, it'll complete the brackets there. And let's say you want to link generic session note one to generic session note two, right? And now if we go to generic session note two, we can just click on this link. Uh, let's actually, if you hit control down control and we click on the link, it'll open it in a new tab. So let's go ahead and do that. So now you can see here that uh, when it talks about what's linked to this note, you can see generic session note one is linked to this note right within here. And then if we go to our database, which we should probably give a name, we'll just say session notes database or base. I like calling them bases since that's what the plugin is called. Um, you can see the file links, right, associated with this here, right? So you can see that you can see that this note is linked to this note right here. And um, because we added that property early on. Um, so if you go back to session now, and so that's another way you can link files together. Um, if you wanted to add different properties to sort by, uh, if you right click on the, the tab and then you go to, uh, where are you? It's down in here somewhere here, add file property. So you can click to add a file property and then you can add different kinds of things. You can name them whatever you want and you can use those to sort notes another way. So this is basically how I kind of go about organizing the notes. So I give them specific tags or I link them to one another, depending upon if I want an NPC to be like linked to a particular location or that kind of thing. And then um, you can just go into the database here and then basically have a giant list of them. And just to give you an example of what that looks like, if I go to my, uh, let's say, so I hit control O and I go to my bases, let's say my session base, or what is the name of it? Let's see. Now my Titans grass base here, which is the name of my campaign. You can see I have all of my notes that are sorted by they either contain the name TG session or they have uh, the tag Titans Grasp, which is again the name of my campaign. And so I can see all my notes here and I can see what tags they're associated with them. And then I can also give them different, I can put in different views in the databases so you can play with that. So like if I wanted to have like a view that just shows the hex locations that I have in this game, I can have that here. Right. So you can see like it's in the hex locations are all the ones that are sorted by uh, what is it uh, in this view by the uh, TG hex tag in this particular 
Um, so I can sort through things there as well. And if I click on unmount, I can, I have my notes here for this location, right? That I have here. Some of the stuff in here is vestigial, but you can see links to other notes. And then you can also take a look at like other notes it's linked to at the bottom, right? Where it's been mentioned before, right? So that's kind of a interesting way that you can basically take a peek at notes in Obsidian. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's a basic rundown on how Obsidian organization, I think, works in a nutshell. And if you have any other questions, let me know. And if you let me know also what you might use this for in the comments down below, any questions you might have. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see what I can do next in other videos like this. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of also like a test run to see if like this kind of thing is, is kind of uh, useful for people and also to kind of help me uh, make sure that I understand how Obsidian works as well because I'm also learning the process. But yeah, so if you like this, be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this and I will see you in the next one. So take care.